Good morning, dear students. In today's class, we'll see the next kind of situations in the probability distribution. So we have one more concept called uh, repeated trials. This repeated trials means a random experiment with only two possible outcomes, categorized as success and failure we have two cases one is success and another is what here failure he is called a bernoulli's trial where the probability of success p is same for each trial so only two cases maybe it is success or maybe it is failure so such kind of uh, trials are going to called as a repeated one and for a result of each success will be same for each trial here now with the help of this i want to introduce the next one of the concept called bernoulli's theorem the probability of x success in n trials is equal to n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x okay this is minus sign q raised to n minus x where this p belongs to probability of success and q belongs to probability of failure where n is number of trials out of n trials x is a event so this is described and it is given as bernoulli's theorem so with this bernoulli's theorem and the repeated trials we have in this probability distribution we have four distributions binomial distribution poisson distribution exponential distribution and normal distribution where binomial distribution and poisson distribution will come under discrete probability distribution or i can say discrete variable and exponential and normal distribution will be come under continuous random variable now we'll see all the distributions one by one so first one we'll see binomial distribution so binomial distribution is given as if p is the probability of success and q is the probability of failure the probability of x success out of n trial is given by p of x is equal to n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x so this is a distribution formula for binomial which is nothing but a bernoulli's uh, a theorem a result so bernoulli's theorem result is also called i can say that a, Berno, a binomial distribution also we are going to use the same result for bernoulli's as well as binomial so here the probability distribution is given by means when x is 0 apply x is equal to 0 in this expression when x is 0 nc 0 is 1 p raised to 0 is what here 1 q raised to n minus 0 will become q raised to n when x is 1 replace x is equal to 1 here nc 1 as it is p raised to 1 okay then q raised to n minus 1 similarly when n is equal to 2 nc2 p raised to 2 q raised to n minus 2 when as n is equal to 3 nc3 p raised to 3 q raised to n minus 3 so on we put n is equal to n nc n will be 1 p raised to n q raised to n minus n is q raised to 0 q raised to 0 is 1 so that's why we will get p raised to n so this is called a probability distribution or if you add the summation of this we call and it is that it will uh, turn as bernoulli's theorem and q plus p 
is going to called as always 1 raised to n and the 1 raised to n is always so if you take the summation of this q raised to n second term third term so on up to n term so this in general if you expand the formula for q plus p raised to n is nothing but what here it is the Bernoulli's formula so if you expand you will get this result which can be q plus 1 q is nothing but failure and uh, p is nothing but what here success so always remember p plus q is given by always 1 always p plus q is given by 1 here 1 raised to n is nothing but what here it is 1 raised to n is always 1 so remember always remember p plus q is 1 this is a statement for probability probability of success and probability of failure is given by 1 but here what happened q plus 1 which is nothing but 1 1 raised to n is 1 raised to n 1 raised to n can be written as 1 itself